guys, this is Dow Phoenix, and welcome to another episode of the Dow Phoenix Show. Today, we're going to be talking about the Xbox Connect, most specifically the Xbox One Connect adapter that you need to use the Connect for the Xbox One S, the Xbox One X, as well as if you want to use it on a Windows PC. This thing is, of course, needed for those devices. Not a huge deal because it doesn't have a Connect port. And Microsoft was selling this particular adapter for people that needed the Connect functionality for about $40, brand new. You know, so this has a little box that you plug your Connect into, then it has a USB cord that goes to your Xbox or PC, and then it also has a cord that powers the device because with the original Xbox One, the Connect cable would also power the device, and the One S and One X don't have those options, so that's why that's needed. Now, What's going on with this device? You might be really shocked to hear that even though the Kinect wasn't really that popular of an accessory, and it was in fact one of the reasons why the Xbox One really had a slow start in sales, uh, in spite of all that, we actually see that this particular adapter is going for tons of money right now. Like This is insane how much it's costing on eBay right now. This is just crazy craziness i mean i had one of course i bought an xbox one s back in the end of 2016 pretty much it was like september or october of 2016 and uh, i got the connect later on i actually picked up the connect for a mere nine dollars from gamestop i know nine dollars that's dirt cheap but you know what uh, i was kind of curious to see what it was like and at that time, I don't think they had normal webcam streaming on Xbox, so it was like the way to go. And I was just shocked that, you know, it's just so much now for this freaking adapter. Because the adapter, of course, I paid $40 for at GameStop. I didn't get a free one because I didn't have an original Xbox One. The One S was my first and so far only Xbox One system that I've purchased. But anyways, this thing just got me really thinking because, like... It just kind of makes sense when you see something that you barely use and you see it going for so much on eBay. I mean, you know that eventually that gravy train is going to, you know, subside. But I really needed to take advantage of it. Got some bills to pay off. And so it was perfect to list this on eBay. I'm listing it a little bit lower than normal um, just so I can maybe get a quick sale out of it. But uh, I wanted to kind of talk about this because... I think this is legitimately like one of the first times that we've seen a Xbox related system or peripheral go for so much, um, especially one that wasn't that popular to begin with. Like I said, you know, the original Xbox One was bundled with the Kinect and Microsoft kind of initially told us, hey, you got to have this thing to even use your Xbox One. And people didn't like the fact that they had to do that on top of paying a premium on the system to have it bundled with it. Of course, they ended up reversing their policies and price matching Sony, and then eventually actually getting cheaper than the PS4. Uh, but, you know, that's all said and done now. And it's tough to say what would happen if Microsoft would not have budged on that position. You know, I think uh, they could have been in a very different spot, but you know, hey, who knows? Maybe the Kinect would actually be more popular. Maybe it would actually have more software support and things like that. I mean, I was looking at some of the statistics on Wikipedia over, like, the number of Xbox One Kinect-enabled titles, ones that require the Xbox Kinect versus the 360, and it's it's crazy, man. There was only, like, 25 games or some really minuscule number like that that supports the Kinect to where it's actually required on the Xbox One. I mean, just think about how many hundreds of games, thousands probably, that the Xbox One has now, and only 25 actually require the Kinect. And it's also important to bear in mind that at least at this time, the Xbox One Kinect is not backwards compatible with Xbox 360 Kinect titles. So you can't play your Xbox 360 Kinect games on the Xbox One Kinect. So, I mean, if at least it had that support, maybe it would be kind of like, more worthwhile at least for gaming purposes but you know from my perspective i just thought it was kind of like a complete folly to keep this device so that's why i kind of decided to list it you know i could use that money for uh things that are much more important you know like uh 
Like I said, I'm going to usually be paying down some debt, of course, you know, that I've got uh, from the Christmas shopping season and whatnot. But, you know, I mean, it just makes sense. I barely even use the thing. I used it a couple of times to stream on Mixer. I uh, used it as an Xbox, or uh, as a PC webcam uh, for some of my videos in the past. And, I mean, it was okay, but the quality wasn't the best. I mean, it's definitely better than the PlayStation camera, but, I mean, you can't... I mean, come on, guys. I could do a lot. I could do much better. You know, hell, I might consider buying like a really nice webcam with the money if I get enough out of it. You know, maybe I'll get that Logitech Brio. That's a 4K webcam that costs about $200. I'd much rather have that than the Kinect. I don't know about you guys, but let me know what you think in the comments below. I mean, do you think this will keep up? Do you think that this Kinect adapter will always be a highly sought out item or or what oh and by the way there are counterfeit options available there are people that are actually making counterfeit connect adapters that you can use on your xbox one s and one x i personally don't think that's a great idea because since it's not a microsoft product it'll probably void your warranty and if it causes damage to your xbox or connect well you're just out of luck on that right uh but uh yeah let me know what you guys think down below and uh till then down Phoenix out.